in the work that I do, I get to talk to a lot of people. Many people ask me for advice or help. Lots and lots of questions. There is one person that's always there for me. And not only does he provide me the emotional support to be excellent in my career and not give up on my dreams, but I know he's doing it for a lot of other people too. So Peter, my friend, welcome. Hey, Sylvia, it's good to see you. Great to see you. We got to meet in person at DevNet Create a couple of years ago in 2018. This time we're doing it virtual. And uh, it's wonderful because we get to bring DevNet Create um, in a way to, to everywhere in the world and especially to your beloved Africa. You always say we need to have DevNet Create Africa and you're working on DevNet Africa. Tell us what you're working on right now. Okay, so um, after the meeting, uh, after the DevNet Create 2018, so I got back to Nigeria and uh, tried to involve more people because, you know, at DevNet Create, at, um, DevNet Create 2018, there were just only two of us who flew in from Africa, me and uh, myself and Eric from South Africa. And I just felt the participation should be more than just two people coming all the way from Africa to Cisco DevNet Create. So I got back, I involved more people, I engaged more people, and then Later that year, I went to Cabre. Like, uh, I think you should be familiar with that country. So it's Portuguese speaking. So I involved more people. It was my first time though, but I just felt to go there, go to somewhere that, you know, they've never heard about DevNet. They've never heard, they don't know so much about Cisco and uh, and what is, is being offered there. And so I went there and I got to involve um, the technical, guys from Norsey, it's like a data center in Cape Verde. So I involved most of them, I shared them stickers. Yeah, Sylvia, you sent me a lot of stickers. So I gave my stickers out, I gave them, and they were really so happy. I, for the first time, they got on developer.cisco.com and they were, they didn't believe something like this existed. So they were able to, to fuse in some apps, some APIs from, from the sandbox, they're able to fuse it in into their, their, their organization requirement, and it was really cool. So, well, since then, I have been in communication with that team in um, Cape Verde. They're mostly Portuguese speaking, but one way, technology has one language, so we get to speak same language, even though, you know, directly we may have some little barrier in communication, but technology has one language. And then, so back home in West Africa, I keep trying to engage more, many more people. And most recently, I am working with a team of 18, 19 year old and above. They are in Ghana and we're actually starting a, a community, uh, like a developer community with them in Ghana. That's fantastic. And you shared some pictures with me. I wanna make sure that we share them with the community too. Um, yeah. As a woman, sometimes I go to a conference and there aren't so many women, you know. Um, I know that I get excited when I see people from Argentina, which is where I'm from. It's always so nice to to connect with people um, who have a similar journey to yours. And, you know, you, you were always so good about sharing with us the, the experience from Africa. And I want to ask specifically, in the year 2020, there have been so many dis disruptions and interruptions to our plans, to the way we communicate. What have you seen in Africa and um, particularly with the students you're mentoring? What are the challenges and how can the community help? Okay, so, um, you know, 2020 has been a year filled with mixed emotions for many people around the world. And, uh, so like for the students I'm mentoring, yeah, I, I, like we had the meeting yesterday and we used um, WebEx Teams and I teach them how to use um, WebEx Teams and how to use um, um, the Cisco WebEx platform. And uh, yeah, well, they are beginning to learn how to collaborate more and how to, and I teach them how to support each other too and share knowledge and using WebEx, the WebEx Teams to, to communicate and collaborate and share spaces and all. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for making sure that people stay connected. Now, if you, I know you're a man of dreams and you have a big vision of what you would like. You know, we need to take small steps to get to that big picture. 
Um, and, and you've already done so much in the last couple of years, particularly being involved in the DevNet community, but there's so much more work to do. Um, what is it that people listening to this message can help? Um, maybe they may not get to meet you or the students you're mentoring, but maybe they can do something in their own countries, cities, neighborhoods. What is your advice for them? Yes, I'm in the part of the world where we have um, very, you know, poor internet connection, very high latency. And, you know, yesterday was one of the challenges I had with the students I'm mentoring in Ghana. You know, they complained of very poor internet connection. Some of them couldn't join. So, well, my advice to, you know, anyone you know, in the community and, you know, and maybe some other country and you're thinking, how do you start something like this? How do you mentor people where you have very limited resources? Well, start, just start, just, just start. People need to see your drive. People need to see that you are, you believe in yourself, then they will believe in what you're telling them. So that's just how I overcome the hurdles. I believe in myself. I believe in my dreams. And so the students, there are almost 15 of them right now. Yeah, very young students in Ghana, and they are they believe in what I'm doing and building them that uh, to the next to the next phase of their careers and their lives. Now, um, thinking of the the younger generation, we're young, but there's there are younger generations. Um, yes. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> in places where people may not have access to as many devices you know, as, as other people do, right? Some people have a computer and an iPad and maybe another iPad and a phone, and, and they're very fortunate to have all of that. Um, maybe their employer provides them with, with these devices, but some people only have one phone. Um, you know, so apps are so helpful in helping people stay connected, especially an app that doesn't require, um, you know, such speed or, or so much in terms of consumption because maybe the phone uh, doesn't have that much battery or it's not such a new phone. I'm always looking at what the younger generations are doing and what they're using. I know my son spends his day on Discord chatting with his friends, right? And he says, oh, my friends don't use Twitter or Facebook. And of course, they don't have jobs, so they don't use LinkedIn. So what have you noticed um, in places where maybe the internet connection isn't that good or not, people don't have so many devices, but they still want to stay connected? Um, do you see kids using any apps in particular? Um, or how do you see them communicating with each other? Second, an example of uh, what the kids are mentoring, the young, very young children, um, kids, um, yeah, in the university, but you know, pretty young, <laughs> like you said, younger than, much younger than ours. Uh, well, they communicate mainly on, okay, well, once I introduced Webex um, teams to them, they communicate mainly on WhatsApp. And yes, they always complain of, you know, um, internet subscription and uh, for internet service, but mainly they are you. They, we are using um, WhatsApp to communicate. Mainly. Now, for those other young people like us who are trying to help each other, um, maybe find work or find training. Uh, what what's what has helped you um, to really get in touch with people so that you can build your own career and get those dreams of yours uh, moving forward. Ah, okay. For 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 me, I've um, for me I have used uh, uh, LinkedIn more, and yes, I am connected with you, Sylvia. I've been connected with you for a long time, so that's expanding my career as itself. And uh, well, just stay hopeful. And uh, okay, so this year we're doing DevNet Create Virtual. Um, do huh? do you think uh, maybe when we go to do events in person again? Uh, you'll still like to propose some cities where we should do events um, that bring DevNet to a new community. Yes, sure. So what cities would it be a dream that we should come to? Try it. Very cool. For now, thank you so much for staying connected. Thank you for being online with us. And we really appreciate all the work that you do. You make a difference with your positivity, with your willingness to help. And I'm really happy that you're part of our community, that you're a leader in our community. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Sylvia.